Savoia 13, but of course at the back on position 14. Seven to go. Gonna go quiet. All down. And they're away. And the start looks reasonably clean. And it's Battle who gets a clean start up the hill from David Ronnefelt. Ronnefelt is leading from Boots. And they've gone up in one, two, three, four orders. So Ongaro is in fourth. In fifth, it'll be uh, Hal Figueroa as they go around the first uh, time into the first corner. Yeah, oh, and Boots. And then the Battle makes a kind of a difficult and immediately loses the lead. And, Ron and Ro Ronnefelt takes it. So Ronnefelt now takes the lead early on. Boots is in third. And mine are kind of two wheel and. Ongaro now comes up the inside of Boots to take third place. So we're at the front now with Ronnefelk who's beginning to stretch it very slightly. Has a good start from Ronnefelk. Just the tiniest of errors, well, not even error, just a bit of bump there from uh, Bataille. And already away he goes. So Ronnefelk leads. Bataille in second. And Ronnefelk is absolutely stretching his lead like a monster. As he drops down the hill there. Bataille as well. And then Boots. Now, this is interesting because this is, this is a stretched out the way we didn't expect. Ronnefelk's made a great start and takes an early lead. We've seen before, Bataille will try and settle in. Let's, let's concentrate on our leader for a little bit and we'll just see what, Ron, what Ronnefelk can do over the first two or three laps of clear air. We'll just let them settle down. This is a final weather set. The first four are running pretty much line astern at the moment. Let's, let's remind you that third is Boots and fourth is Ongaro. Ronnefelk's first running lap is a 39.9 straight out of the back. Now, whether Battle can do that, whether Boots can do that, whether Ongara can do that, they've got to get up to him first to be able to do it. Now, there's a number of questions that need to be answered during the start of this race, and one of them is, will they be stopping at 7.5? Will they try and stretch it to 9? Ronnefalk leading, coming down onto the concrete section for the first time. They'll then drive right back up the track again, hop up, turn left, and fall off the ski jump. And Boots has made a mistake and dropped down to fourth behind Ongara backwards, just came off the track. So it's now... Ronnefalk stretching his lead from uh, Battle. It's a 40.4 against a 40.5. A 40.6 for Ongaro. 41.5 from Boots. That mistake. But one, two, three, and four. Oh, a little bit of fishtail there. That's going to cost him a couple of tenths from Ronnefalk as he gets away. You see as they come up the hill to the AKA triple. And the race begins to settle down as we're now two and a bit minutes in. Behind Boots is Figueredo, Burton, Bloomfield, Canas, Majubi, Quagrini, Volanca, Savoia, and in last place at the moment, it's Igon who started last. Now, oh, and it's up the inside has come to this drop back to second, third, and fourth. That's where the action's happening because suddenly it looked for a second like Ongaro's going to get past there because uh, there's another little minor problem going into the hairpin for Boots. But he's, uh, so for Battle, he's got it. But it's in a battle. Ongaro and Boots are right together. Now, this is a manner from heaven for Ronnefelt because he will be making hay while these three battle with each other. Coming around now, a bit wider again. Battle doesn't seem to have settled into the race yet. I just get the impression he needs to take three deep breaths and calm down. He's not kind of, that early mistake, I think, rattled him. He's now needed to come down. And Boots has kind of bounced his way past Ongaro there. So, trying, so Boots now up to second. You go, oh, and then he gets a massive tank slapper. He gets up the inside. He got, oh, he just bl blocked him there. The tank slapper took him into difficulty, blocked him there, and Boots continues in third. So let's stick, let's try and make Boots our focus for a bit. Um, just because I think he needs to move back forward towards Battle. The gap on the last lap, it was a 40.6, a 40.2 from Battle. The Battle actually had a bit of an error coming over timing and scoring. 41-0 for Elliott. So no one's getting away, but it's a healthy lead for Ronnefelt. He's leading now by two seconds. Boots now trying to bridge back to Battle. And that's where the action is going to be, second and third, because Boots certainly is looking to have the ground speed to catch up the Spaniard. Don't forget, you're looking at the reigning champion. Well, the reigning champion is Boots. He won the previous year as well. He won in 2016 in Spain, won 2015. He also won the event in uh, the very lovely... Uh, oh, and Ronnefelt's upside down and into the lead. Oh, and Boots has made a mistake. And in a second, two things have changed. But that's Ronnefelt fell down. We need to move forward two cars because Ronnefelt fell down coming off the hill and threw into the lead. Oh, the replay again for Boots' problem. So Boots had a chance to take the lead but lost it. But the lead now is with Battle. And we need to go back to Battle after Ronnefelt fell off the ski jump. He fell off the ski jump, and that suddenly, in the 15, of course, come earlier, and Boots makes another mistake in the background. So Boots having a bad a bit of a couple of laps, but now it's Bataille who takes the lead off. Ronnefelt made a mistake coming off the ski jump in the last lap. Ronnefelt now second, Ongaro third, fourth is going to be Cana uh, Figueredo, sorry. Boots has dropped to fifth after a second mistake, and then it's Bloomfield in sixth. So suddenly, it's now the Spaniard who leads. 2007 and 2011 European champion. 
And Garo not being dropped by those. The one person who's got a problem is Boots. He's been dropped very slightly for his problems he had. Two tenths game back. So first and second, both of them have swapped the lead. And the net effect is that after five minutes, Roy Bataille leads. And in the background there, you can see scrubbling after him in that very, very bumpy touring car section. Now, it's not really touring car anymore. It was when we got here three days ago. Is David Ronnefalk. And down goes to the point which Ronnefalk had the problem after about five minutes. And that was like a bit of a gain. Yeah, 39.8. Battle now is finding some speed. 39.8 and stretches by six tenths of a second. So Battle now has found a little bit of pace. And I said before, he needed to get that set. He needed to get his mind together. He needed to relax, to settle into the race. And I think what happened there is he got rattled by the error he made, dropping out the lead, was being... Oh, and another mistake for Runner Falk. Runner Falk made another mistake, and he drops down behind uh, Ongaro. So the lead for battle will now be quite immense as he comes around. To the and the second-place man will be Ongaro. So battle leads. Amid so this replay... Um, and let's both be on battle at the moment. We'll shift back in a second. So battle completes that lap in a 40.6. Ronafat will drop into second and it'll be into third. Ongaro for 44. Let's now move our focus to Ongaro in second place. The four car underneath us now. So Ongaro now takes second place. His lead, he is 3.8 seconds behind. Now Boots has also got past um, the five car Figueredo. So now the chasing pack is Ongaro, Ronafat, Boots. And he looked at Ongaro. In fact, drop one back, one further back to Ronafelt because Ronafelt has Boots right behind him. And Ronafelt's crossing and came with him. Stay with Boots. So Boots now picks up. So Ronafelt's got his car or his mind just not running as it needs to be in his little mini mistakes. So this is a third and fourth battle. We thought it would be first and second. We, well, we didn't know, really. They come off. Boots is now crawling back up the field again. Ronafelt falling back from a good start. And this certainly isn't the way I expected it to be. Apart from the fact that battle after a difficult start has settled down, he's trying to turn some laps on Gara in second with a fully intact wing for Neo fans. We are now getting to the point where we're going to find out about, about the fuel strategy. Seven minutes is being clicked up now. And Ronafout is all over the back of Boots. How Figueredo not being uh, lost, but he's just dropping back slowly. Boots in third, Ron Falk in fourth. Just to remind you, in second place is Ongaro, and our leader, of course, is Robert Bataille. And they go, and the pit stops will be starting soon. We're now at 7.22. Are they going to be in seven and a half? And Battle does come into the pits. Now, we'll just carry on with the cars we're with and see what happens there. They're going to go on. In fact, in they all are coming in at seven and a half, so no nine minutes. Right? Let's take them all through the pits. There's no nine minute strategies here. Every single person is breaking at seven and a half. They can't switch to nine. They go down. Oh, and Boots has flamed. Boots has flamed in the pit lane. So that's the first major change. We've got a flame for Boots. Is he going to relearn? He has. But Boots has a flame in the pit lane. So let's pick them both up on. Uh, let's pick up on Ronafalk. He's coming now down onto the concrete section. So Ronafalk, he's right behind Ongaro now, battling for second. But Boots with that flame is going to. That's going to really be hard to get over. Flaming on the first stop. But now, Ronafelt right behind Ongaro for second and third. They both just stopped. It's their first lap out of the first stop. Ronafelt just behind Ongaro, who's not quite shown the pace he needs to do. We've got a five-second lead for Bataille. Boots has gone round in sixth. That pit stop was 54 seconds. That flame, pretty impressive work by the pit crew. Only seven seconds to restart the car, but that seven seconds would be very hard to get back in this company. So second and third on screen at the moment, going around the concrete sections, Ongaro and Ronafalk. Ronafalk, who won the European Ch Oh, and Ronafalk, another mini mistake. He just can't afford this. Interestingly, Ongaro actually gained six tenths of a second in the last few minutes. So we'll stick with Ongaro now as he comes underneath us. He gained six tenths on Bataille in the last lap. Ongaro down the main straight. Climbs up and turns into the... AKA triple, Robert Bataille leading by 4.7 seconds. And we are not quite 10 minutes down, so there's more than 35 minutes to go. Ronafout, if he could keep all four wheels on the ground, I think he'd be doing a lot better. And interestingly, Boots is already climbing back through the field and trying to get past Bloomfield. Let's drop back to Bloomfield, who's behind Ronafout. He's coming off the uh, ski jump now, and he has Boots behind. So it's Bloomfield and Boots just about to go over start finish. Bloomfield, the white and blue car, Boots the red car. They are currently battling for fourth and fifth as Boots recovers from that flame. 
And round they go. Yukama. And a mistake. And we had a mistake from our leader. So Battle's made a mistake off camera. Uh, he is now not as far ahead as he was. And this is going to condense the whole field up as Bloomfield says, let's go and shift to our leader, Carl One, coming off the ski jump now. That is uh, Robert Bataille. Because first and second are right together. Robert Bataille, he fell off the downhill after the AK triple. Had to be Marshall. And now, Ongaro, who's got a lot of ground speed at this point, the young Italian, is chasing the veteran Spaniard round. So that five-second lead has disappeared. It's now officially a quarter of a second lead. And the Mugen Power, Mugen Powered, when you can chassis, um, engine of Bataille is trying to hold off the associated chassis of the young Italian. The Italian team are waving their hats to encourage Ongaro on. Bataille settles down again and I think he's now in a more consistent way. Both of us should be, we should be on our leader now at this point. Come underneath us. Can Ongaro catch up? That time round, he lost four tenths of a second. But, oh. It's Bataille. Oh, and Ongaro's made a mistake, and that's got him back. Behind him, Bloomfield is now in third. So, Ronald Phelps made another mistake, and Bloomfield's in third. In fourth place, it's uh, Boots, and Ronald Falk is down to fifth. Three not running for him at the moment. Okay, let's, let's drop back to the third, fourth, and fifth battle. It's about to come off the ski jump now. Coming off the ski jump. Third, fourth, fifth. Oh, no. And in saying that, as we move, Battle made a mistake and lost the lead. So Battle lost the lead. Literally, as we moved off in what is a reverse curse of the cameraman, suddenly Battle's leading. Uh, not leading. So we'll stick with third, fourth, and fifth. There's a big gap. So the third, fourth, and fifth battle coming underneath us now on the main straight. It is. Bloomfield leading in the blue and white car, and then you have uh, Boots, and then you have David Ronnefout. But off camera, Battle made a mistake, and it's now Angara who's leading this. This is third, fourth, and fifth. There's a bit of a gap to Bataille, and then you have the uh, the three of them trotting along with uh, Bloomfield showing better pace than we expected. He's not being uh, swamped by Elliot Boots or David Ronnefout. And Ronnefout, I think, just isn't really happy with what's going on here. Can't put down much of an overall ring. Just the, the lead now is 2.3 seconds for Ongaro. The gap back to uh, Bloomfield is a further four seconds. And then as you can see, the gap is up and Ronnefelt dropping off the back of this one as Boots makes another mistake. So uh, this race is really not turning out as we expected. It's Boots in battle now. Sorry, Boots and Ronnefelt really close together. Let's see what will happen in this battle of fourth and fifth between the guys. We thought we are going first and second to come up now. And what's happened there? Rolled over has been Bloomfield. So Bloomfield's rolled over and all they're doing is giving it extra lead two and the lead's changed again because it's been a mistake by Ongaro there's no end of mistakes as Ongaro has an error and uh, it's all it's all changed again so, but, but, so so with Bloomfield and Boots at the moment going down the main straight looking to pick up the thing the, 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 the leaders keep swapping by having massive accidents the two cars closest on the track are Bloomfield and Boots over the back Battles back in the lead for Mongaro, but the lead is just two seconds. Bloomfield is currently holding up Boots, but Boots and Ronnefeld, due to this errors at the front of the top two, are actually getting closer by just trolling around. And off the track goes Bloomfield, and he kind of takes Boots off the track, well, he drop over the, the ski jump, and Ronnefeld pops into third. Apologies. Ronnefeld moves into third, Boots is fourth, and let's get into the lead now. Look at that again as they come up underneath us, look at this happening. Boots, Bloomfield off, and he just clips <laughs> Boots off. Look at the inside. There goes Ronnefeld taking both of them into third. Fantastic stuff. Let's pick up our uh, second place man now. Because I just see where Ongaro is coming towards us. And Ongaro comes underneath the uh, turn. He's just looking a bit closer. Ronnefeld now in third. In fourth place, it's Boots. They need to just settle down and just turn some laps and try and make this gap up. We're just coming up to a third of the way through. 15 minutes. And what's been an unexpected final so far, caused by unexpected errors. Mostly, I have to be honest, from Ronnefeld, who's now having a bit of a, a pitch battle with Boots. And into the pits the second time comes Battle, and through goes Ongaro. So we'll stick with Battle now and see whether the pit stop strategy to work for him. He is first out. So we'll stay with uh, Battle through this pit stop strategy. 
You need to be with the leader, Ash, who's going up the hill now and is going up the hill now and into the hairpin with the orange tires, orange wheels. Now, interestingly, right behind him, as they come down, are third and fourth, but they will have to come in fuels. Let's see what happens when Ongaro comes in. It was an early stop, right on the seven and a half. Let's be with our leader with boot. Let's be with our leader with battle. Let's stay with battle, please. As he hops away. You drop back one, Ash, I think, to, to the car one there. And the other cars all go in. And come out again. Now, where's Ongaro? Has Ongaro not gone in yet? Ongaro hasn't. Where's Ongaro? Lost Ongaro. That's very careless of me. Ongaro has come out a lot further back behind uh, uh, Battle. He didn't make anything up on that one. And he lost a bit of time there. 47.7 was the pit out time for Batai with him in the lead. On Garo, who went in the second camera second, he did it in 49.1. Yeah, exactly. So he lost 1.4 seconds during the pit strategy. Ronafout did it in 45.8, which is lightning fast. So Ronafout was just made up about four seconds by a pit stop. So let's go back to Ronafout and Boots, who are third and fourth underneath us now. Ronafout at the end of the straight. And coming up the hill. And into the air, there's two cars now into the AKA triple. So run a Falcon Boots. That's where we need to be at the moment. And I've got a slight problem here. We're on Gara's in second. Run a Falcon. Let's um okay, can we move to Run a Falcon Boots, please? So we're coming over the, uh, the, the uh, coming at the end of the So underneath us now, and Boots coming to the inside now of the two of them. So Ronald Falk and Boots really challenging fast for third and fourth at the end of the main straight now. First and second is still Ongara and Bataille. They're going to be close at the moment, but we're looking at third and fourth. Ronald Falk and Boots. And Ongaro and Battle have another... Oh, no, it's not Ongaro and Battle. That's Ongaro and one of the back markers. Battle having a problem himself. So third and fourth. And they're now lapping up to JQ as they come down the hill. Ronald Falk and Boots have got some back marker action. And JQ lets them both through. The gap between them and Ongaro is coming down at the moment. If Ongaro is three seconds off the lead. These two are five seconds back. And we have uh, 27 minutes left to run. Oh, and a big accident for Let's carry on. Carry on with Boots. Carry on with Boots, the red car. Because Ongaro is not that far ahead after another problem. So carry on with Boots, the red car. And he gets past. So the, the next target for Boots, who is still suffering the flame out in the first stop, is Ongaro, who's just ahead of him. A long lead now. A much bigger lead. For Batai, but Boots is the chasing man. Ronafout got uh, it all wrong. And there he goes in. Ongaro's going. So it's Boots now in second. So stay with Boots. He takes second place. Ongaro has been so Boots is a fantastic lap. He started fourth. He's finished it second. Ronafout is third. Ongaro is fourth. And Batai leads. So with your second place man. But the gap. And that's the worrying thing, is 5.8 seconds. Now, can Boots lay down some laps? Now he's got a chance. Now, remember, he lost seven seconds for the flame out. He's only 5.8 seconds behind. So he's got to work his way back. Ron Falk has been released from Garo as well. And the man out the top is the man you don't want to leave in free air. And that's Robert Bataille. So Bataille in that lap round did a 39.9. Beat that. And it Boots does with a 39.6. So now they're laying down some lap times. Ron Falk, 40.6. On Garo, 41.2. Now we're seeing some pace. And Boots is your chasing driver. Ron Falk and On Garo. It's Ron Falk in third. On Garo in fourth. The rest of the field is Bloomfield in fifth. Canas in sixth. Falanca in seventh. Ferrado in eighth. Burton in ninth. Igo in tenth. Majubi in eleventh. Quad Green in twelfth. And Savoy in thirteenth. And the distance between the two is 5.5 seconds. We do have... 25 minutes left. Oh, oh, that was lucky. Got away with that one, didn't he, Boots? He just rolled on his own way. As Boots can be merry way, and that was a 40.1 against a 41.2. Ronald Falk in third, Ongaro in fourth. And Ongaro had more trouble with traffic than some of the others. Boots, who are following in second at the moment. As you see, it's dropped 6.6 seconds back, and you kind of think, well, how are you going to make this back, Elliot? But Elliot is, of course, the double reigning European champion. A little kick up for Boots there. 
Another lap turned for Bataille, 40.4. Boots will cross the line now with a 39.7. And that is the second fastest lap we've seen so far. So Boots putting the pressure on. And what they're doing effectively is gapping away from Ronnefout, 40.9. And Ongaro has had himself all confused with several other drivers at 40.6. So... It's moving into two-horse race with massive advantage to battle. Let's move to our leader. He's just coming off the concrete section now and climbing up underneath the, the other camera and going to come off the ski jump. This is now in the middle section. Don't forget the next set of stops will happen around 22 and a half minutes and we're currently at 20 and a half minutes. The distance between the two cars now is 6.3 seconds after a slightly faster lap for Robert Bataille. And don't forget, Boots lost seven seconds with a flame out. So we know where the difference has come. Ronafout's grind speed. So, okay, Ronafout did the fastest lap anybody there. 39.7. Ongaro had a bad one and got dropped. So, after the constant ability of two cars off at the same bit of track, we're now having a little bit of a stretch out. And Bataille goes over the rollers. Into the rhythm now after a shaky start. He's relaxed into this after he has kind of hand the lead back in the kind of a tip for tap accident situation with Ongaro. That time round, Boots gained four tenths of a second, so it's kind of ebbing and flowing each lap. This battle comes down the hill. He's got more traffic ahead of him. Comes up through the kink and into the uh, touring car hairpin. Away he goes down the hill. The lead hovering around the five and a half to six and a half seconds mark, depending on uh, individual laps and where they are on the track. That time round was a 39.7 for Bataille. And you saw that one there. Now, he must be getting quite close to wanting to put, the, put some more fuel in the car. Thought so. So in he comes. We'll come right Bataille and we'll take him out again. So let's stay with Bataille the whole way through this. Temporarily, Boots will take the lead. Not quite. So that's first and second together, but it's a fake first and second because they are on different fuel strategies, but they're right nailed together at the moment as they come out. And that was a good stop for Robert because he's now effectively one pit stop ahead of Boots. Oh, and Robert's fallen over. That was Oh, and very generous marshalling by Alex Sanchez. It's actually cost him loads of time. Oh, Alex, Alex, just put the car down. Don't lob it. So we need to move now to... Very quickly, can we pick up Elliot Boots who's going around the bottom corner there, Ash? And uh, uh, Phil, come he's coming out of the rollers. He's coming around the rollers, Ash. The red car, car number three. Let's pick him up. He should go in the pits. And he does. Oh, and then Boots makes him take in the pits and throws away a lot he gained from Dan Chetin's over-exuberant marshalling. Now they go around again. The fuel goes in. Oh, he's flamed again. Flamed again. And that's probably the, uh, the end of the story for, uh, for Boots back down. But two flames in two pit stops. You can't really get round that one, can you? Oh, that's really bad luck as Boots now comes back out again. Things were looking good. But I think that's kind of it. Let's, let's pick up our leader again. And he's coming now over the top rollers into the hairpin. With the orange wheels, the orange body, car number one, Robert Bataille of Spain, who's going to exit this session with a massive lead because... What's also happened in the background, there's been a problem for Ronner Falk, a problem for Ongaro, not just their pit stops, they also dropped back a bit. And so suddenly there is an 11-second lead for Ongaro, who's second, third and fourth. So the chasing pack is now back together again, but poor old Elliot just can't keep his engine running during uh, pit stops. And two out of three, he has had a problem. And he's making five pit stops during this race. So let's now move back to our second, our third, our second and third. They're coming over the timing and scoring now. That's Ongaro and Boots. Keep it wide for both of them. So Ongaro and Boots hopping back towards the end of the straight. They're now come falling in. Boots, really, I'm not sure how he keeps his concentration. He's got the pace to win this one, which would have been his third one in a row. But, you know, he had some good fortune last time. He's had some very, very bad fortune this time, and that's a bit of a, a problem. He lose the run. So Angaro still in second, Boots in third, and then just behind him, as you see that shot has come towards us, is Ronna Falcon fourth. And they really are now battling as kind of the best of the rest environment. 
goes out ahead by uh, a mile and a half is, is Robert Bataille. I'm not sure if he knows what to do with his ease back or not. I don't know. And there's Boots just behind Ongara. See if we can get uh, both of them in the same shot. They're quite close. The lead for Robert Bataille, as you can see, is 12.5 seconds. Because he's really the one who's had the kind of the perfect run. Most of the problems, in fairness, of Ronafak are being of his own making. Oh, and Ongaro's got him. Back into second goes Boots, despite two complete failures. So Ongaro just dis disappeared off the track at the side there with a problem. And Boots now gets back into second, even though he's, ha he's carrying about 14, 15 seconds of, of flame-out penalties. But he is in the runners-up position. He lost a few tenths again to Bataille. Ongaro third, Ronafak fourth. Oh, Boots makes a mistake now, and Ongaro goes back past him. So they're just making it, they're really just giving this one to uh, Robert at the moment. As they constantly, I suppose again, they come up, what happened there? Oh, he got a bad kick and then just turned. So the car's unbalanced, he turned, and the thing danced around its backside, around itself. So Ongaro is back in third. Uh, another mistake for Boots to put him to fifth. Let's move forward to Ongaro, who's currently in second, sorry, coming uh, over the rollers and round the hairpin. Ongaro in second, and it's now a 14.6 second lead for... Oh! And another massive error from Ronafalk. So Ongaro is happily claiming second. We've not seen... A, this has been not been a good final from Ronafalk. Kind of the antithesis of his world championship win he, he, in Las Vegas where he drove brilliantly. Here he's just, I don't know what's happened. The car's not as it was in the semi. And he's had so many little errors. And I think now he's pushing and it's, it's getting worse. 18 minutes to go. Bataille leads by a very long distance. In fact, we won't find out until Angaro crosses the line now. And the answer is he leads by 16 seconds. Boots is desperately trying to catch back out to Ongar. There's still a lot of fight in this second, third and fourth battle. It has to be said, but the leader, which is Robert Batai, is just, well, he's gone. Literally gone. He's coming to complete his lap now. The idea our leader now completes his lap now. The car we're with, which is Ongaro, who's in second, has even got the touring car hairpin. Right out of spot for Ongaro, I'm sure he's very happy with. So 17 minutes to go, though. Anything can happen. At this point last year, I think Ronafat was leading. Batai was second. Boots was third. And then in the space of a minute, both Batai and Ronafat ground to a halt with the same issue, which was a steering servo problem. As it stands, Boots has that ground speed to pick second up again, but he's only to make, gain seven seconds a session because the engine keeps flaming. And that's a roll. There's no up either. And Boots really, at this point now, is having a lot of problems. So we drop back, to, drop back uh, one set of cars to Ronald Falcon Boots. We're battling for third. So Ronald Falcon Boots come down onto the concrete section. So Ronald Falcon, your reigning world champion. Behind him is Elliot Boots, your reigning European champion. I'm afraid it looks very much like one of them is going to lose that uh, reigning name next to them. Because Boots is currently in fourth. He's struggling against an engine that won't run when he's trying to uh, pit stop. And also, as he pushes so hard to catch up, things are just not going his way. So Ronafak, who at the moment is in third on the podium. And if he actually could keep the car four wheels down for a few minutes, he would have no problem, I don't think, in picking up a, uh, a relatively easy uh, slowly gain on, on Gara and pick up second place. On Gara's not shown blistering pace. He's just shown quite good driving. So we should both be on Ronafak at the moment. He comes up and over the rollers before the uh, start finish. So Ronafak currently running in third, looking to try and pick up on uh, on Gara. Two pit stops to go. The first one will be in a few seconds or a minute or so. They hit 15 minutes. Around that period, they'll be stopping. Robert Tye, another lap crossed off. Bit slower, 41.4, but he doesn't need to push anymore. And underneath me, Robert Tye comes in for fuel. I'll watch him and see whether there are any problems. Team stops, runs. He hasn't stalled. 
So he's not got the problem that uh, is besetting Boots. Well, I thought we're with him in third. I'm not sure if he's going to stop this time. He's got some lightning fast stops. Now he's going to go around for another lap. So the gap, which is 17 seconds on your on your screen, is going to drop down to 11 or 10 this time because Bataille has pulled in for fuel. The others have not. And we're down to the last quarter of an hour. No one could guess the destiny of second, third and fourth, but uh, the European champion for the third time, it looks like it may well, well, well be Robert Bataille. Boots is beginning to uh, ease back up towards the back of Ronnefout. So again, when Boots keeps your four-wheel down, gets a bit closer, and in they come. Oh, dear. And skid, and in comes Boots as well. Let's take the Ronnefout and the whole team through it. See if they can keep the car running this time on the Kyosho Red's car. Will it rev? I'm sure he's revving it like hell to keep it running. And this time it does carry on going. So no stall for Elliot. But he lost a bit of time coming in, so he's now dropped out. But look, Ongaro and Ronnefalk are right together. So during the pit stops where Ronnefalk's team have been incredibly quick, the battle for second is right on now as Ongaro and Ronnefalk drive up the hill. And they're going to turn left any second now and drop down the ski jump before they turn into the J-Concept quad, taking a double and a double and an overstart finish. So that time round, yeah, absolutely. It's a three-second gain in the pits for the experienced and very, very quick team of Pierre Ronnefalk and Adrien Berton and now Ronnefalk got the inside and see if he can came that second spot and he's right up the backside of Ongaro but very careful not to touch him Ongaro goes a bit wide and this time he does touch him wait oh he's waiting and in through the middle goes oh dear and in through the middle went so was that oh, it wasn't Boots where is Boots Boots is so far back he didn't go past so if he's reversed their position again, I thought it was Boots a different red car. Boots has got so many problems at the moment, he's not even coming through. But that obviously accident, what it's done, guess what? It's made Robert Bataille's lead even bigger. When we go across the garment now, the lead for Bataille is back out to 25 seconds. There is a danger, there is a danger that he might lap the field. It's getting a bit more um, faff about everyone else. Bataille about to finish another lap. 25 seconds ahead at the moment. And this is the battle for second place between David Ongar of Italy, the Neo champion, and David Ronnefeld of Sweden, the world champion. As they come down. Moving forward, dropping off the ski jump right together. Ronnefeld looking for a way past Ongaro to get himself one step further up on the podium. Ongaro, of those top four drivers, has not been the fastest, but in fairness to him, he's managed to avoid the most unforced errors. Obviously, apart from uh, battlers, he's really having a, a, a very, very good weekend, and, or very good two days, actually. He's kind of gone from not so short, sure, inspired yesterday, and he's carried that through today. Beat another lap. He has 11.25, but this is the battle that's on the track. It's second place. Number four, the associated of David Ongar of Italy, and then the very renowned colours of the world champion, the HB Racing car of Ronnefout. I have to say, it looks like Boots may join this party at some point in the next couple of laps. With second and third nailed together with 11 minutes to go. Ronnefout got the inside there, trying to push through now. Came inside, the outer rail there from Ongaro gave him a little bit of extra drive, which he used through. And I noticed, I think, that uh, what happened was that Ronnefelt said, I'm not going to get this, so I'm going to already start positioning myself for the next corner. They come up now to the hairpin and turn back down the hill. And, oh, Ronnefelt got the inside there. Beautiful move, that one. Came up the inside, got drive, and that was a textbook bit of overtaking. Great stuff from Ronnefelt. Oh, and two wheels up now. Ronnefart, can he actually begin to gap on Garo? There's a car getting out of the way, which is a 12 car of Ryan Majubi. But on Garo now hanging on. Is it, as everyone knows it's much easier to follow than to lead. And on Garo now hasn't got to worry about what's behind him for a while because Boots isn't there yet. And Maury has to worry a little bit more about what's ahead of him. But it is clear that Ronnefart is able to put a few yards on him. And they dropped down, and someone got in the way of Figueredo having an accident, and that's kind of unsighted them slightly. But 
hanging on to the back of him. Zongaro. Well, Batai still two and a half years ahead. But Robert now. And David now definitely looking to get a bit, bit, bit ahead and try and gain that away. They are second, third and fourth are now in second, third and fourth order. The back markers have gone. And Ronafak, oh, that's going to give Ongaro a chance. Ongaro is now right on the tail again of Ronafak for second place. Ronafak has second, Ongaro has third. Boots has fourth and he's getting close as well. So two, three and four will be in the same frame now as they go over and complete another lap. So we may have a, a runaway leader, but the rest of the podium could not be more open. Four drivers have dominated this event and they're currently one, two, three, four. As Boots ruining those two flame outs, they wouldn't have been enough to put him in the lead, but it might have been a, a different mental preparation if it hadn't happened as uh, JQ gets lapped for the second time. Oh, and a kick up there and it's got them all together. So they go one, two, three round there. Beautiful shot as they come down the hill and Boots trying to cut an inside line on Ongaro. And kicking, you can see that hey, kicking and screaming the whole time. The car's hating the surface now. And they right nails the other second, third, and fourth. Runner Falk. Better drive for Ongaro. Hit in the air. Oh, that was like a hit. And then Boots jumps over him. To take that. And he's now in Boots. Got to, and Boots has got past Runner Falk as well. Over air pass. And then Boots gets past Runner Falk on the, on the road as well. So Boots and Runner Falk are where we need with Ongaro. Great entertainment in second, third, and fourth. And Boots now, it looks like he can gap Ronafak. And Ronafak looks like he can gap on Gara. There could just be one lap they look like they can do this. They are still um, a very, very, very long way away. And it, look, absolutely, Ongara is dropping off the back of this. Ronafak's having none of this, though. He's trying to stay on Boots for, for second. They are, of course, 21 seconds behind. So it's interesting that uh, Bataille has dropped his pace. Robert has dropped his pace, the Spaniard. Doesn't need to be going absolutely as fast as he can at this point because he has such a huge cushion, which he's been told about. He can up it again whenever he needs to. But Boots has absolutely creamed away from uh, all of them in second place. Boots' big problem is going to happen in about a lap's time. Let's stay with Boots, because <coughs> we're coming down the point of the last pit stop. And if he can keep the engine running, the other problem he has is that Ronald Falk's pit crew are lethally fast. So he may well lose this second position to either a, a stall in the pits, a flame out, or to the Ronald Falk... Pierre on a fact, that is, and Adrian Berton's super pit combination. And they're going to come in this they are. So let's take Boots in and see if they can keep running. They're both coming in. They're all coming. No, Ongara's not. So it is a straight fight between pit crews. They're one behind. Will it, is the car going to continue running? It has continued running. And they're much, much closer, but still Boots managed to get out in front of Ronald Fox. This is the battle for second and third. It's third and fourth at the moment, but it will be second and third when Ongaro stops. Certainly a tiny gain there was made by Ronald Falk. But I'm sure that Boots is certainly going to thank. Oh, now it'll go too wide and suddenly free pass. A runoff out there as uh, Boots clipped the apex of the hairpin. And this battle for seconds, it is, is certainly entertaining us royally as we are waiting to crown our Spanish champion, barring disasters or flame outs or just terrible bad luck as Boots hops back over Runoff out and back into third place again, which becomes second when Angaro pits, which he's doing now. So Ongaro has pitted, he's released, he's, oh it's a good stop by Ongaro and he's been released just behind us, the second, third and fourth now after a lap's delay are right back together again as Ronafak hops over her boots there, great driving and other drivers very bravely keeping out of the way of this fantastic scrap for second, third and fourth with 6 minutes and 18 seconds to go, they've done, they've done their last pit stop they are now fighting now, Ronafak has second, Boots has third, Ongaro has fourth but don't forget, Robert Bataille is away, and he's away by a gap of 21.2 seconds. And now Boots saying, I'm sorry, I would really rather like to come second. Ronald Falk is saying, I'm the world champion. I'm sorry, I want to be second. And Ongaro is saying, I'm the young pretender to your crowns, boys. And I wouldn't have a minor second. Though actually now they're getting into the straight down running. Ronald Falk and Boots begin to show a little extra speed. Boots had a little click there that kind of ruined it slightly. So can Boots catch back up again already? He gains a few yards as Ronafout doesn't get a perfect drive up the hill. Coming down the concrete. They drop off the ski yeah, and again, by now, they've done probably a thousand laps this track, or perhaps not a thousand, these several, 500 laps. So they are pretty sure of where everything goes and what happens with everything. But the fact is, 
But we are now down to five minutes and boots get the inside. They've all hit, they've hit, they've hit. And Bowsy in the pit lane and waiting his boots. And so we need to see that one again because Ongaro has gone into second place. And that's what happened there. Boots comes round. And, oh, I'm not sure. Oh, Boots in the, in the wrong line. Well, that's really, that's a racing incident. That's very, very sporting of Boots to wait on that one. That could easily be a racing incident. And they are battling together now for third and fourth. So we'll stick with the uh, battle between Runner Falcon Boots. Even though Ongaro has sped through both of them now is in second. But I do think that even though they have four minutes and 44 to go, the, uh, the two Northern Europeans will catch up the Southern European second. They, oh, that was a miles thing. Looping her, keep, keep with Boots now. That uh, 360 self spin for Ronne felt dropped into uh, fourth. So we're going to keep with Boots. He now attempts to catch up to Ongaro. He's only got to find two and a half seconds. Ongaro is probably sitting there going, this is more like it. I have made less mistakes then. And then Ronne felt then takes Boots. So Ronne felt now into third place. Ongaro makes a small mistake as well, loses a bit of drive, but he is currently second. Cars are flying around, but none of the car, one car is flying around the track without any errors whatsoever, and that is the car of Robert Bataille. Four minutes to go. They cross the line there. Ongaro was about two seconds exactly ahead of Ronnefout. Boots has dropped back, so let's be with Ronnefout. Boots had another problem and dropped back a little bit. So, Ronnefout is now trying to chase in for second place. He's a little bit behind, but he's got three minutes 40 to make it up. Robert Bataille absolutely sailing away. It looks like Bataille. Oh, and a mistake, a mistake by Ronnefout that puts him back in the class with boots for third place, but makes Ongara even safer for second place. Three minutes and 20 to go. We'll, of course, get our new European champion over the line, but until then, we're going to concentrate on this battle for the minor placings on the podium. Two wheels they run up on. You can see Ronald Falcon when the camera opens up and they go wide, you'll see Boots chasing him down. Boots had an incredibly eventful race with two flame outs and several little errors, but now he's absolutely chasing like Billio to get that second place. If Ongara has any sense. He's a couple of seconds up the road from him. He will start easing back now and just try to back time it for two minutes and 45 seconds that left the 45 minute final. Because these two are absolutely going hammer and tong and they are effectively an accident waiting to happen on just about every single corner because they have removed their margin for error. They've thrown the margin for error in the bin. They've kicked the bin to the curb. They've taken the bin to the waste field, shot it into space. That error's gone. They are pushing 100% in a battle that means a lot more than just third place. They're trying to prove something here. Ronald Falk's trying to prove he's still the master of Northern Europe. Oh, and that's going to be maybe the end of that one because Boots had an accident. Now, Ronald Falk moves into third place with a reasonable gap. Boots that final roll, that margin error gone, and that was it. So let's move forward to our leader. And now there's been a big... A tie goes round, and... The lead has dropped to eight seconds. Now, something happened off camera to Robert Bataille. I wonder if he took a, a, a precautionary extra pit stop. Because Bataille is down to an eight second lead. Big old leader is coming towards the, um, the touring car turn now. Yellow wheels, orange body. And coming down the concrete section. So Bataille, who was leading by 21 seconds, not the last lap, but the lap before, lost a fortune of time. Just wondering if he took an extra stop. Didn't see it, wasn't looking, was too busy on the second, third, and fourth battle. It's been exciting the whole way through. Nothing too bad. There it goes on. There he goes. Nine second lead. We are down to one minute and ten. As the cameras will stay on the but I, I will watch everyone else. And I can just tell you that, well, third and fourth are right back together again. So what we're going to do is if they get any closer, we'll move. We'll stay over at the moment. No, nope, mistake by Boots. They weren't together again. So it's still... Bataille leading, Ongara second, Ronald Falk third, Boots fourth. And Bataille is starting effectively his last lap because even though he'll get one more, no one else will. So if he finishes his lap, he will become European champion and get a lap of honour. Ongaro stutters a little bit uh, to start his last lap. Ronald Falk starts his last lap. Boots starts his last lap. But it is Robert Bataille reclaiming the spirit of 2000. And uh, 11, 
when he last won the European Championship over in Sand in Germany. Who, if he completes this lap, he will be the European champion because no one else will be on the last lap. So this is going to be a lap of honour when he crosses this line. That is your European champion. He's on a lap of honour. He knows he is. He's done it. Behind him, we see um, the four car of Ongaro picks up second. Ronafout will pick up third. And in fourth place, be Elliot Boots. But Robert Bataille wins his third European championship. Obviously, subject to technical inspection, I always have to say. But he's on a lap of honour. The Spaniard can do donuts. He can do pirouettes. He could stop and he'd still win. Because he is the winner. He is the European champion, Robert Bataille. We're going to grab a quick word with him now. And then we'll have a proper uh, three-person press conference after that. But uh, Robert Bataille will take this. We'll stay on air for the conference. Robert Bataille wins it. European champion, Robert Bataille. A man wants to present him with a trophy, which will take off him again because it's very unfair. And uh, we will grab a word with Robert if we can. Oops, but then see if we can grab a word with Robert. He's been congratulated by absolutely everybody. He's a very, very, very happy man indeed. Smiling from ear to ear, waiting for the congratulations of his other drivers. In second place, David Ongaro. Third was David Ronafalk. Clapping it away. Let's see if we can uh, grab a quick word with uh, Robert Bataille. Congra Robert Bataille. Yeah. Oh, okay. Congratulations, a fantastic performance. Yeah, it has been amazing. Final at the beginning, we were everyone cold, close. They started to make so many mistakes, so I just decided to be a little bit slower and just consistent. And finally, I got it. We made one more fuel refuel in case of <laughs> not to flame out anything. So super, super happy. Amazing weekend. Fantastic, fantastic. We were. Oh, we're going to go straight for the conference now. All three drivers.